Welcome to Informatica Cloud, the industry's first cloud data integration as a service. Today we're going to talk about Chatter, specifically integrating our Oracle ERP system with Chatter for Salesforce. This can of course be any back office system. Um, the goal being when something changes in your back office system, for example a price, a quantity, a status, um, you'd like to notify Salesforce. Not only by updating the opportunity in Salesforce um, with the changed order, if you will, but also updating the chatter feed on the account um, that you're following. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that might work. Let's go ahead and jump right into Salesforce.com. So here we have an account. Um, in this case, it's an Albert Lambert company. Um, and this account has your basic information about account. It's a company. Um, has different opportunities on it. So for example, I can take a look at opportunity number eight. And this links into order number eight in our back office ERP system. Right, so the ERP amount is $40 and this has been received. Right, so now what we can do is um, we can take a look of this basic integration that's already happened. Right, the order is received. So if I go into my account name, this is where Chatter fits in, is I've already added a Chatter feed when the back office system received that order through integration. Um, it created the new Chatter message right here on the account that you might be following. So you can see, okay, the, the order was received by my back office system, and I can assume those guys are working on fulfilling that order. All right, so I can go ahead and click right into that order. I can see the details of it, right? For example, I have that Bluetooth headset for $40. But let's say that I want to go ahead and add something new. So let me add an item to this order. Um, and let's say the customer calls in, and, and instead of calling you as a salesperson, right, they call back to the back office system and say, hey, I want to add, you know, hey, a plasma flat screen TV to my order. Just one. Um, and that bumps the, the order price up significantly. Right? So now we have an order. It's a new total, $4,000. Right, and what you're going to see is, you know, based on the change over here in our Oracle application, um, what happens is we can update the Salesforce opportunity with the new new amount. Um, we can update the Salesforce status with a new status, as well as update the chatter feed on the account record, so that you don't have to go and check um, the opportunity record. Um, your Chatter desktop, or it'll be right there in your in your Salesforce. You'll be able to see that on this account that yours that you're following, you actually have um, visibility into these changes in the back office system. All right, so let's go take a look. So now, when we go back into Salesforce. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And now we see a new chatter feed that says oh, the order is delayed. Right? We of course have an, a new link right to that order if we want to. But we can also, now that that showed up in our chatter desktop or showed up in our main chatter feed, uh, we can go down right to that opportunity. So let's go take a look. So here in our opportunity, we can say, okay, what's going on with this order? We can see it's delayed, but there's also a new amount. Right, so now our curiosity has been fulfilled. We understand what's going on, um, and we can do all that in real time. So let's go take a look at how you build that with Informatica Cloud Services. Um, essentially, what you can do is uh, drop right down to Informatica Cloud, right, and that takes you right into the single sign-on of the Informatica Cloud Services, um, right into a nice quick setup. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into our data services. Um, and I'll show you the chatter order status, um, the synchronization task that I built. Right, so it's a nice six step wizard to success. Um, and really the first step is giving it a name and what you're going to do. Right, the second step is to find my source. So what we're going to say is, hey, we want any, any orders that change. Right, and we want to update the chatter feed. Right, so going right over here to our field mapping, what we did was we added a plugin. So I have source to plugin. And plug in the target. So in this case, my source is my order that we picked. My target is my chatter feed. And what I did here was I kind of put together some information from the order to be in my chatter feed. So if you remember, uh, my body says customer order, has the order number, and has the status. So if you come back into Salesforce, you can see 
you know exactly that as part of the chatter feed right so custom order order number and the status right if I come back over here to the plugin right my link URL is actually my order URL this is a uh, our order our Oracle ERP system that's sitting out on Amazon um, and you essentially simply add it to the order number that you got from um, our ERP system that way we have a link provided um, this links right back into the account record you want to tie it to um, you have the order status which is the title of the whole feed so if I click back over here I have the title uh, which in this case is delayed it was received before right and then I have different types of chatter feeds I have link posts which allows me to post a link and also have some other things that allow me just to post text all right working my way uh, you know the plugin to target in this case my targets just uh, an output error file if I wanted to keep that um, most of the time you don't need it but in case there is a problem it's a nice way to simply test and see what's going on uh, if I want to run this on a schedule I can do that as well um, I can do any kind of schedule every day every month every night um, new I can do different uh, types of commands but really you know the meat of it is what I showed you where you simply do your field mapping um, between your Oracle changes and in this case for your back office changes and your chatter fees all right so uh, let's go ahead and uh, come back and let me show you the task flow that I made so basically once I've configured my chatter feed I have it run uh, in sequence where first I update the actual opportunities from the orders that change in Salesforce and then I'll do the chatter order status right and so the result is simply the fact that now I have exactly what's going on with my different chatter feed and I know what's going on with my different orders in my ERP system I can click on those and go right to the order um, I can unfollow it or follow it I mean of course I have more information as I want to continue on so thank you guys for your time today um, and we'll talk to you later